Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, Mukesh's Tech Space, where I generally have video tutorials about AWS LightCell, WordPress tips and tricks, setting up easy to use website hosting solutions on various platforms, mostly for beginners. So if you are new here and are interested in such content, please consider subscribing. A couple of weeks ago, I did a video about an AWS service called Amplify. Uh, which can be used to host static websites and web apps uh, and, is, and was an easy uh, alternative to using S3 buckets. It was a very well received video with a lot of feedback from viewers and I'm glad many of you found it useful. Last week, Microsoft had its build conference where it launched a similar service on their Azure cloud platform. I was able to check it out and so in this video, I will show you how to host a static website or a web app using Azure's static web app service. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, to start off, we'll need to set up a few things. First thing we'll need to set up is an Azure account. It's very similar to setting up an AWS account. You'll need a mobile phone number for verification and you will also need a valid credit card for verification as well. And then it will walk you through the setup process and you'll have your account created. The second account we'll need is a GitHub account. Um, it's all it's free, so you can go ahead and sign up if you don't want, have one already. Sign up to github.com. And the third thing we'll need is Git locally installed on your, on your system. So head on over to git-scm.com and then download the version for your system. So with those things um, taken care of, you can come back to the Azure portal. And once you've set up your account, you'll come to the dashboard that's similar to this. And if you don't see static web apps in your Azure services menu here, you can just type in static web app in the search box and then click on static web apps. So we're not going to create the static web app just yet. Let me explain how this will work. Azure Static Web Apps is natively integrated with the GitHub platform, and it uses the GitHub Actions uh, deploy workflow to set up the static web app. So, so what does that mean? Well, we will create a GitHub repository of our static website and integrate it with Azure during the static web app creation process. Then whenever we make changes to the website and commit those changes, you know, push those changes to the GitHub repository, it will automatically publish those changes to our Azure static web app. So this is a very cool feature and it's easy to set up. Um, you can learn more in depth about all the Azure static web app features on this page and I'll put the link below um, in the description. Okay, next we're going to head on over to GitHub and create a new repository. If you already have a GitHub repository that you wanna use, you can use that, but just make sure that it's a static website or it's a front-end JavaScript uh, framework-based website. Um, if you already have a website on your local computer, but you don't have it in GitHub yet, so you can use that and follow along this video. So go ahead and log into GitHub and create a new repository. On this screen, enter a name for the repository. And then just hit, click on Create Repository. Then open up the git bash terminal or a command prompt. The git bash terminal came with the git um, download that you installed on your system. So if you search for git bash, you should create that. Then go to the folder where you have your website. What I'm going to use is the HTML5 up um, dimension website that I used as a sample when we set up the AWS Amplify service. So I'm going to continue using that website for the video here. So inside that directory, let's create the Git repository on our local machine. So we'll run these commands that are available right here.
git add. Now instead of readme.md, what we'll type in here is a period. And then we'll do git commit. And then finally we'll do git remote add to connect our local git um, folders to the GitHub repository. Paste that. And then with this next command, we'll push up all of our local files, our website files into GitHub. Now at this point, it should, um, it should either prompt you for a username or a password, and that would be your GitHub username password. If it didn't prompt you, then that means it already took the session information from your GitHub um, account. But once you once the command is finished, now if you come back over to um, your GitHub page and click on code, you'll see that our files are available down here. So now we're ready to create the static web app in Azure. So let's head on over to Azure portal, go to the static web apps um, dashboard and click on create static web app. On this page, we'll select our subscription. This would have been set up during the Azure account creation process for you. Let's create a new resource group. Give it a name. Give your app a name. And then select a region. Um, it can be any region. Um, typically just select something that's closer to where you are. And then sign in with GitHub. At this point, it's going to connect to our GitHub account and integrate that into the static web app. And then repository, let's create, pick our repository, my static website. The branch will be the master branch. Click on next. On this screen, keep this um, at a, um, keep the application, uh, what's put in here for default. API location, if your application actually had APIs, then you can provide that here. Typically in an Angular app or a Vue.js app, React app, if your apps use APIs, then you can define those here. But for us, since it's a static website, we'll just click, uh, we'll just remove that item. And then let's go ahead and review and create. And then click on create. So at this point, it's setting up the static web, web, web app in Azure. Um, also, it's going to connect to GitHub and set up the deployment workflow in the GitHub Actions dashboard. So give it a second. Uh, we should be able to see a button that says uh, that'll take us to our static web app um, screen. Here we go. So we click on go to resource. And then when you come here to the static web app, web app page, you'll see it. You should see a message that says, thank you for using Azure static web app. We have not received any content for your site yet. Click here to see the status of your GitHub actions. So let's go over to the GitHub account and you'll see that it will have create a deployment actions workflow. And this workflow's primary job will be to monitor any changes to the content in GitHub. Once it finds those changes, it will deploy those changes to uh, our static web app. So as you'll see here, it found some changes and it's queued them up for deployment. So this will take about a few minutes for everything to set up. And then uh, uh, what I'll show you is we'll make a we'll make a slight modification to our website commit that change back into GitHub and see that reflected on our web app automatically. So give this a few minutes and uh, this yellow dot right here should turn into a check mark. So once that's there, I'll come back. 
Okay, well we have a green check mark. That means our workflow and our connection with GitHub was successful and Azure was able to pull the um, website files over to set up our static web app. So let's head on over to Azure. And then if we click on this URL, which was dynamically generated for us, you'll see that our website uh, is loading. Next, do a sample change to the website and then see that it deploys again. The second thing that I'm going to show you is how to set up a custom domain. So if you have a domain already registered, we can set up that domain uh, for your website uh, here. So first, let's go ahead and make a change. So I'm going to head on over to our git bash terminal and then I use VS code for my editor, but you could use any kind of text editor to make these changes and we'll just do a sample change to the index file. And in the title, I will say dimensions by HTML5 up on Azure static web app, just to make a slight change. We'll save this file. And then you can use the um, source control feature of VS Code if you're using that uh, to commit this change. But if you may not be using that, I don't want to show you that process here. We'll go back to our Git. Uh, terminal and commit the change this way. So we'll go ahead and do git add git commit give it a comment and finally git push origin master. Okay, we got a little error so let's see. It wants me to do a git pull so let's go ahead and do a git pull Okay, so I'm back. I was able to fix that. I think one of the steps um, that um, you, you should take is do a git pull command. So do a git pull origin master before you go and make any changes to your site. So after the first deployment, there are some files that Azure creates inside the GitHub repository. And we need to pull that in, those files down into our local um, uh, local directory before we made any further changes. So just remember to do a git pull origin master and then make the changes that uh, you'll need for your website. So once you do that, go ahead and do git add, git commit, made change for Azure, and then git push origin master to push those changes up into our GitHub repository. And once that's done, we can come back to our actions and refresh the screen and it should have detected a change. There we go, made change for Azure and it's queuing that change up to be deployed to our Azure static web app. So once this dot goes green, we should see our change um, for our website. Okay, here we go. We got the green um, check mark. So if we go back to our URL from our static website dashboard, so get the URL and you'll see up here that our change has been made on Azure Static Web App. So we can continue making changes to the local copy of your website, commit those, push them to GitHub and they automatically show up on the website. Now next what we'll do is set up a custom domain using this custom domains feature, click on add and then we'll take a custom domain, uh, www.the one that I have to use. So I have this hosted on, or I have this registered on name.com. And so what we need to do is make an entry into the DNS records for this domain. Um, and the DNS information is right up here at the top. We'll need to create a CNAME record with the value of this, of this here the C name will be www. So let's go ahead and create this in your DNS, uh, uh, whatever DNS provider you use, go ahead and create that record there. Okay. So I logged into <clears throat> name.com for my domain, Mukesh.digital to manage the DNS records. So we'll need to create a C name, www. And then the answer is, let's go back here. Copy this value, come back. 
and then add the record. Okay. So at this point, um, it may take a few minutes uh, to maybe even a couple of hours before this is um, fully provisioned. But if we want to, we can come here and validate that it succeeded. So this was pretty quick for me. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and hit add. So this process may take a few minutes, but, uh, but what it's doing is attaching this domain to the static web app. It's also provisioning a, an SSL certificate, configuring it, attaching it as well. So all of that is done behind the scenes and you don't have to do anything else, but uh, just give it some time before it's fully reflective. There we go. And then let's see if it's... Let's see if it's available. So now I can type in www.mukesh.digital and it seems like it's loading up on Azure. There we go. Now one thing to keep in mind that um, currently the static web app only can support um, I guess subdomain so anything with a um, a prefix on your domain so www.mukesh.digital or www. whatever your domain name is it can't support a root domain so i wouldn't be able to just configure mukesh.digital so i think that's it for this video um, i wanted to show you this as this is a new feature in azure uh, platform that was just recently announced um, if you found this useful give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and uh, do consider subscribing to my channel and until the next video, take care.